before Nicolaus Copernicus, virtually everyone believed the Earth was the center of the universe. In the early 1500s, Copernicus proved them wrong. Copernicus was the father of modern astronomy. Through his observations, he showed that the Earth revolved and the heavens were stationary rather than the other way around. It greatly simplified our knowledge and our understanding of the universe. He basically took astronomy from a system where we wanted to believe certain things to a system where we could prove that certain things were true. Copernicus was born in 1473 in Torin, Poland, to a wealthy family. He received all the advantages of a great education. He first studied painting and math. He also studied medicine and then later law to the point where he became the canon for a local church. And only later did he develop a keen interest for astronomy. At age 35, Copernicus started questioning the prevailing thought about the universe. The dominant model prior to Copernicus was Ptolemy's model of the solar system, which had the sun and planets moving around the Earth. It was very complex, very unwieldy, and it really didn't work. Copernicus came up with a theory that was extremely elegant in its simplicity, where the sun was the center of the universe and the planets revolved around it. In 1513, Copernicus built his own observatory to further his astronomical studies. Copernicus advanced the idea that the time it takes a planet to orbit the sun depends on its distance from the sun. The farther it is, the longer it takes to go around the sun. A very revolutionary idea at the time. In 1514, Copernicus published a list of seven axioms about the universe. The sun is at the center of everything. The earth goes around the sun. The moon goes around the earth and the stars are much farther away than the sun is from the Earth. Taken together, these seven axioms really provide the basis of modern astronomy. Copernicus's theories were rejected by scholars of his time, and they incensed the Catholic Church. Copernicus's writings were banned from the Church after his death and were not allowed to be read for about three centuries. Copernicus spent his final years defending his work and died at the age of 70 on May 24, 1543. One of the more remarkable things about Copernicus is that he did all of his work with very crude tools. In the observatory that he built, he didn't even have a telescope. He truly revolutionized astronomy. He changed the way we think about everything. <laughs>